Hi, my name is Ian Gack, the Explosive Swing, and in this video, I'm going to go over the short bat, short tee drill. This is a great drill to help hitters feel the actions of working down to out as we make our forward move. So if you've seen my other videos, I've talked a lot about that when we take our stride and our load, I'll make sure that working down to out. What that means is I'm pushing all my energy is going through, especially my rear leg, through the ground as I move forward. Right, a lot of hitters, especially younger hitters, um, but even more advanced hitters, will tend to have um, a push, right? They kind of work down to out and kind of push off the ground to move forward or kind of sit back and spin. We want to make a forward move, but we want that forward move to come through the ground. So I'm working down to out as I make that move, right? That's going to help us to have more power, right? Have a much more stable foundation, okay? So we're pushing into the ground as I move forward. That's going to create leverage. Leverage is more power. Think of it as punch, right? If you're punching a punching bag, um, hopefully not a person, but you're going to hit that punching bag a lot harder if I have, you know, my feet in the ground versus if I'm trying to jump and punch at the same time. Really tough to do, right? You're not going to send nearly as much energy into the bag, right? It'll hurt, right? You can put some energy behind it and it'll hurt a little bit, you know, if you let's say you were punching a person, but not as much as if you have your feet in the ground. Same thing hitting, right? So I can lunge and I can make contact like this, right? You can get some hits, you can barrel it up, shoot, you might even be able to hit a home run, but it's gonna be way less consistent and you're not gonna be able to hit it as hard, uh, as consistent as you want to, right? If I'm through the ground and I have, you know, my weight behind me, body's behind me, as I, as behind the ball as I go to hit it and I have a stable foundation through the ground, I'm gonna be able to hit that ball a lot harder, transfer more energy, okay? The other thing that it helps us to do is to make adjustments, right? When we make adjustments, especially to the breaking ball, right? To the off-speed pitch, change up, but especially breaking balls, um, we wanna make those adjustments through the ground. It's gonna be really tough to adjust. I'm thinking fastball, fastball, fastball. All, all of a sudden it's a curveball and I'm kind of pushing off, drifting forward. I can't really make adjustments to that, all right? Um, Sometimes it'll work, right? But it won't be consistent. I won't be able to consistently adjust uh, in the zone the way I want to, especially to the changing speed and the, and the changing plane of the ball, right? That breaking ball's changing planes on you. So you gotta be able to adjust to those planes with the ball, okay? Um, same thing if I'm sitting back and spinning, it's gonna be tough to adjust, right? If it's that fastball you're looking for, great. It's gonna work out, you know, but not as consistently as we want to, okay? So if I'm working down to out, now all of a sudden it's you know fastball 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 but breaking ball i can now use my lower half especially my front leg break down into it right not over it but into it so i'm still against that front leg and now i can make my adjustments through the zone so helps us to work down to out create more leverage have maintain our power and also to adjust especially to the off-speed pitch um, the other thing that's going to help us do, and this kind of goes hand in hand with the adjustments, is it gets my eyes closer to contact, right? So if I'm working down, kind of, uh, you know, I heard some, I've heard other kidding coaches saying like, go see it down, right? That's all that means. I'm working down to out to go see it. I'm closer to the, to the zone, closer to contact. If I'm working this way, my eyes are pulling away, okay? So just really helps us overall if we're working down to out through the ground to have more power, make adjustments, see the ball better, okay? So how do you perform the drill? What I like to do is take a short tee. So this is actually even a shorter tee than a normal tee uh, made by Cage Pro. They make a great short tee. Um, but if you don't have the short tee, right, you can just take a regular tee, just put it as low as it can go, okay? But I like if you have the short tee, if you have the ability to have a short tee, use the shorter tee. And also from there, we need a short bat, right? Short bat, short tee drill. So I use the control bat, right i like it because you can put weights on either end of the bat get some different feels with it but if you don't have this one uh, any short bat will do just try to be in that range of about you know three to six inches shorter than your game bat okay so this is a 27 inch bat say i'm swinging a 33 inch bat as my game bat six inches shorter um, if you don't have a short bat take your regular bat just choke up the four to six inches three to six inches right and just you can get the drill done that way okay so just choke up on your bat um, but i prefer the short bat if you have it and from there what we're going to do is set up our depth of contact so make sure you have the t we're working middle with this drill our typical depth of contact right in line with our front foot but since we got the short bat in our hands we're going to bring it back a little bit probably or at least three inches or so so now it's inside of our front foot just so we don't have to feel like we have to go lunge at the ball okay um, so find your depth of contact 
right? Get to your hitting position. Now get back to your normal stance, right? And then we're just gonna work down to out to swing, okay? Um, one thing I should point out though, is the reason why we have the short bat, short tee for this drill, right? Is that it's, it's gonna have to, it's gonna force us to have to get on plane, work down to out behind it to get on plane. If I try to go swing at this ball, like I have the long bat in my hand, I'm just gonna stay up tall and, and try to golf it. You're gonna get a lot of swings and misses, a lot of caps off the end of the bat, and it's not gonna be as consistent, right? If I go to swing like this, I stay up nice and tall, right? Uh, I'll miss the ball a lot. So work down to out behind it to get on playing with it. That's why we have the short bat and the short tee in our hands, okay? And what we're looking for is rising line drives to the back of the cage or the middle of the field if you're outside. Okay, and then from there, after we get, I don't know, 15 reps, 10, 15 reps, it's a good amount. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put our short bat away and we're gonna get our regular bat out, okay? So now what I want you to do is fight that urge to just stay nice and tall and kind of golf just because you can get away with it still approach this ball as if you have the short bat in your hand. So you still have to work down to out behind it. The one thing you want to make sure you do though is now move the tee back to where it should be about right in line with your front foot. Okay, so find that depth of contact. And now just approach the, bat, uh, the ball the exact same way with the regular bat in your hands. Okay. And this is a drill, as you notice right there, I held my finish at the end. So a really good drill to hold your finish with just to see where your balance and your posture is at, right? When I hold balance at the end of my swings, I don't care if you actually hold your balance, right? If you lose balance, it's more about how did you lose your balance? Are you losing it towards home plate, right? So taking a swing, holding good finish, and I'm losing it towards home plate having with good posture? Or am I losing it away from home plate, out over my front side, sitting way back on my backside, right? So when you hold your finish, you wanna feel that you are centered behind the ball and that you're still in good posture uh, in your swing, okay? Okay, and then from there, what I like to do is progress it to your normal tee. So take the short tee out, out of there, or just raise your tee up, put it at your normal height, or you can work up or in, out, wherever you want. But now I still want you to approach the tee the same, the, the ball the exact same way, but guess what? You just, now you just won't get down into your lower half as much, right? I'm still gonna approach it the same way, but I don't need to get all the way down here because the T is in its normal height. Okay, and that's gonna be our short bat, short T drill. Um, really good little progression to help hitters, especially move down to out, have more power, right? stay connected with the ground a lot better, and to be able to make adjustments uh, especially to the breaking pitch or the off speed. Okay. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out explosiveing.com.